Hello, everybody. Welcome back to my uh, channel, my quintessential team, my quintessential crew. I thank you all for joining me for another little brief message here. So as you know, this is, um, uh, well, I did say I wanted to give brief messages, you know, just other messages other than using the cars, you know, all the time, just giving you something from, you know, Holy Spirit, whatever I feel has been placed on my mind, on my heart, on my body, on my soul, just placed in my being right here. So now it's my time to speak, my time to get it out. And I feel as if this particular topic is something that um, the collective energy is in right now. I've been seeing this in a lot of places. I've been reading about this. Other people have been telling me their own personal experiences that have been happening to them lately. And even myself, I have found um, that I'm circulating a lot in this energy, especially now that I'm trying to just keep my heart space open and really just release a lot of old um, baggage, but forgiveness, forgiveness, such a simple word. However, such a very difficult thing for us to do. <laughs> and if you have, if you are currently feeling this or if you are currently going through, um, needing to ask someone for forgiveness or feeling as if you need to be forgiven or that you need to forgive someone, then, you know, this message may be for you right here. And maybe um, I can spread a little insight um, or something to you to kind of just give you a little bit of guidance with whatever you might be struggling with. Because as I said, it's such a simple word, but it's such a difficult task to do. And especially when it comes to um, people that have really hurt us or traumatized us or caused us some kind of pain or some kind of damage or anything in our life or some kind of loss, whatever that might be. But more so than um, forgiving others, we have to always be in that energy of forgiving ourselves and you know, as I always say, if you have followed me on this channel and you've heard some of my tarot videos, you've pretty much heard me always say that we come first. And when I say we, I'm talking about me, we, you, the individual, whoever is listening. I like to speak in the third person sometimes, okay? But um, put yourself first. We need to put ourselves first when it comes to forgiveness because how the same way that, you know, the question is asked, well, if we don't love ourselves, then how the hell are we going to love somebody else? Well, if we can't forgive ourselves, then how can we possibly forgive those who have hurt us and those who have trespassed against us in any type of way? Um, forgiveness, you know, this is, uh, and you know, I, I love my, um, media. I love music. I love, uh, you know, certain little TV shows and things, you know, especially my supernatural uh, TV shows. Buffy the Vampire Slayer was one of my favorite, is one of my favorite um, TV shows of all time. The um, one in the 90s with Sarah Michelle Gellar. Okay. So I think I've mentioned that on a few of my videos before, but I say that because there's a particular episode <clears throat> that I watched a long time ago and the theme of forgiveness was very prominent in that episode. And there was a line in there that really stuck with me for a long time. And I actually just rewatched that episode again uh, recently. But the one of the characters in the show, they said that forgiveness isn't done. Forgiveness is an act of compassion. It comes from the heart. Forgiveness is not done because someone deserves it or not. It's done because they need it. It's done because it is a act of salvation for them. Um, freeing their soul, freeing their mind, freeing their, um, you know, just their energy from holding on to any kind of negativity or any kind of pain or hurt that they may have experienced or that they may have caused someone else to experience. So 
I know, like I said, I understand um, a lot of you might be going through this right now. You might be struggling with uh, trying to forgive someone who has done you wrong or forgive someone who has taken advantage of you, who's hurt you or damaged you in any kind of way, whether this be in a physical uh, manner or um, emotional or mental, any um, capacity right there. I mean, we can hurt each other and we can hurt ourselves on so many levels there. So it varies. And I understand that each and every issue is um, very different from the other one. There are some things that um, people can forgive easily. And then there are other things that it may take a while for that person to muster up that courage to um, either ask, you know, if they need the forgiveness or just that strength to actually give the forgiveness, administer the forgiveness to someone who may need it. So, you know, it, it's a two way street. It's, it's a two-way street right there. But as I always say, before we can, um, well, as the saying goes, how are we going to love someone if we can't even love ourselves? So if you can't love yourself, how the hell are you going to love somebody else? So it works the same way with forgiveness there. If we cannot be in a position to forgive ourselves for, for any of our um, wrongdoings or our shortcomings or any mistakes that we've made, then it is going to be virtually impossible for us to administer that same forgiveness to someone else on the external who may have um, hurt us as well. So it starts with the self first. And for some of us, myself included, because I'm very guilty of this, I have been very quick to forgive others for what they've done to me. But when it comes to me, I can be my own worst critic. I can be my own worst enemy. And then I just hold myself to such a high regard that I won't give myself a break. <laughs> I won't um, allow myself that space to love myself unconditionally. Now, you know, I'm getting back to that. And because, and I have to be honest, I'm a healer, but then I go through my own struggles, you know, as well too. I go through my own uh, triggers and traumas and things that I still have to deal with and I still have to help with. So still, um, it's still on that same level of forgiveness, the same thing that I said. And with love, if I'm not in a position to be able to heal myself, or at least acknowledge the things that I need to heal and the things that I need to work on, then I'm not going to be of any use to anyone who comes to me with any issues or any problems. So, you know, in the last uh, several weeks, you know, a lot of events have happened that have kind of um, taken me out of my comfort zone in a lot of ways. But I understand that all of these things, they've been done for a purpose, for a reason, just as everything else. So, it pretty much just got me into a position of really um, needing to trust, uh, keep the faith, but then also to keep giving myself unconditional love as well, too. And when I did that, I found that there were still a little bit of things. There were still some things that I still needed to um, release, that I still needed to let out, that I still needed to deal with right there. And not saying that I hadn't dealt with them uh, before in the past, but it was still a little bit of residual energy that was still lingering right there. So I feel as if for the most part, I've done a good job of um, clearing that out and cleaning that out. And shout out to my friend, Anthony. Um, you know, we had a fantastic conversation. He watches my channel, so I don't know. He might be watching this video, maybe not, but we had a fantastic um conversation the other night where there were there was there was a certain situation that I was dealing with that I dealt with that he wasn't really he he knew some of the details but he wasn't um privy to all of the details and everything so as we were talking you know I did become a bit emotional you know with things because um I guess deep down I'd still been holding on to some um 
a little bit of hurt, um, a little bit of guilt. Well, actually, a lot of guilt, a lot of guilt on my part. And I say that because um, it was ways that I feel that I hurt someone who was very important to me at the time. They're not in my life uh, now, um, not physically or anything, but um, for years I held on to certain things that I didn't speak about or that I didn't talk about, you know, to this person. And even though, you know, he didn't know or maybe he didn't know what was going on, I knew what was going on. So, you know, it stayed with me and it's been very difficult for me to um, let go of that. So when I had that conversation with my friend last night, it stirred up a lot of those things and it brought it all out to the surface. And I finally had to get to a place of just saying, oh my God, Quentin, I forgive you. Okay. <laughs> now, sometimes we we can't, actually give or ask, you know, that person um, who we've wronged or who uh, we hurt, we can't ask them because they may not be in our lives for whatever the reason. People come into our lives for a reason, a season, and a lifetime. So usually if someone, usually if that person is just there for that reason or just that season for that brief period of time, then, you know, we're still holding, um, the bag of emotions that we need to deal with. So regardless of what this other person might be experiencing or what they might be going through, they're no longer there, but we will always be here. We will always be with ourselves. We can't escape ourselves. So we have to not only learn to accept the actions and the words and the thoughts and whatever may have occurred in the past, but we also have to get to this point of releasing ourselves from that um, mental prison because that's really what it is. When we don't forgive ourselves and when we don't um, really let ourselves off the hook, <laughs> I guess. And I don't want to say off the hook as in um, whatever actions that we did, you know, getting away with it or getting away with something like that. Not really. But how long how long do we hold ourselves in that prison is what I'm saying. When we can energetically release our self from that um from that mental uh imprisonment, then we're able to freely move in our lives. We're able to um release that old energy, pick up new energy and just freely move and love and live and not hold ourselves to such a um, high degree of persecution because that's really what it is. Um, pretty much creating our own uh, hells on earth, our own little space right there, our own pits right there. You know, if we have done something to someone, if we have hurt someone in some way and they're no longer there, then we can't worry about them. We wish them well, you know, obviously, but ultimately, as I said, they're not there anymore. So what we have to do is find ourselves back to us, find our way, find our way home back to us um, here. Again, giving ourselves unconditional love and just continuing to forgive ourselves over and over and over again. And it's not an easy process. It's a process that may need to be done over and over again. It's one that um, you may just need to repeat to yourself just to keep reassuring yourself. Because again, if we get to a place of being very genuine about um, whatever we've done or it's feeling genuine remorse for anything that we've done, then that's what's going to make that forgiveness for ourselves a little bit easier right there. We're human. We make mistakes. We screw up. We fuck up. Okay. That's just the reality of things right there. But 
when we don't allow ourselves to learn and grow from the mistakes and we just keep ourselves stuck in a pattern or stuck in a cycle, then we're not doing ourselves any favors. And I feel as if what the Holy Spirit really wants us to know and wants us to focus on right now is whatever whatever prison that we've been holding ourselves um, inside, we don't have to do that anymore. We're free. We need to free, pretty much free ourselves. So, you know, this video has gone a bit longer than I um, truly wanted it to, but I just feel as if, um, you know, a lot of people might be dealing with that right now and maybe just trying to find a way to um, get themselves out of that mental fog, of that um, jail right there in their minds. But... As I said, forgiveness is always a two-way street here. So the same way that um, we may need to be forgiven for something, then we may need to forgive someone else as well, too, of their of their actions, of what they've taken against us. But even with that, there can be a lot of guilt associated with it. There can be a lot of shame associated with that because of... Maybe us allowing certain things to happen or just um, letting something happen to us or feeling as if it's our fault, and then putting all of that blame on us. But that's just adding an extra degree of burdens that we truly do not need on top of everything else that we might be have um, that we might be dealing with surrounding that circumstance. So, as I said, it's not an easy task to do and it's not something that can always be done overnight but it's something that is a gradual process and when we finally get to that process of um, being able to speak to ourselves and being able to acknowledge the things that we've done or the things that we've been through and then actively actively start taking those steps that are going to help us uh, free ourselves and gain our independence that's when we can truly start living again. That's when we can truly start um, living instead of existing in this world right here. That's when we can start forming more cohesive relationships. Um, as I said, we make mistakes, but we can correct. We, we, we can't correct the things of the past, but in the present and moving forward, we can at least um, be aware you know, of those things. And that way we're able to make better choices. We're able to um, make better decisions, you know, in the way that we move uh, forward from that point on. So again, no one is perfect. Not one of us out here, because if we were perfect, then guess what? There would be no need for us to be on this earth. And as I always say, this earth is the school of life. We are always here to learn. We are always here to teach. We're the teachers. We're the students. Um, both simultaneously. Um, sometimes we might be on one role a bit more than the other one. So it just depends on whatever that situation is. But this is all just... Um, this is all just designed for us to grow from our experiences. It's not designed, life is not designed and as, <laughs> as uh, tricky as it may seem sometimes, um, it may seem as if the universe kind of sets us up to fail or that life is just here to just continuously knock us down um, with one experience after the other, but it's really not. What it's here to do is, and especially if certain experiences or things keep on reappearing, what it's here to do is to open our eyes to what needs to be worked on within ourselves, what needs to be dealt with within our own lives and our own relationships. Um, on the internal relationship, the one that we have to the self, but then also the external relationship as well too. So forgiveness is, um, as I said, it's, it's, it's a gradual process. It's a gradual process. So if you find this video and you find yourself in that state of just wondering, okay, how do I possibly forgive someone who has hurt me or traumatized me in any kind of way? Um, 
or if you find yourself on the other end needing to be the one asking for forgiveness there, then I hope this video at least gives you a little bit of insight and a little bit of guidance into, um, you know, your situation. And just know, again, we are all human right here. Um, we can't change any past actions or things that have happened, but all we can do is come from a very genuine space here from the present moment and continue to move in that same um, capacity uh, going into the future. So this video has gone a bit longer. <laughs> As I said, I really didn't intend for it to go 20 minutes right there with me just talking about forgiveness, but I truly do hope that it did help someone, even if you didn't listen to the whole video, if you just listen to certain parts um, of it, then I hope it stayed with you and stuck with you in some way. So you all, um, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Um, hit that like button on this video and I will talk to you all later. God bless you. Stay safe and um, good night or good day wherever you are. Bye.